The original Microsoft Intel mouse is well known in computer mouse history for many reasons. It was one of the first mice to include a scroll wheel and was incredibly popular, being included for free with many home PCs at the time. Since then mouse technology had a very noticeable evolution, so how does this ball-based mouse fare with my computing? The first Intel mouse was released on July 22, 1996, but the model I have seems to be a later revision of it released a couple years later. It's the version 1.2a featuring the newer PS2 port, and since some of the recent motherboards still feature PS2 port, we can use this mouse even on our systems. But back to the mouse. As I said earlier, this is a ball mouse. The ball spins the X and Y axis rollers. Simple as that. Besides your usual left and right click buttons, the scroll wheel also doubles as a middle click. Just a press and you can free scroll a page. This is a feature that nowadays we take for granted, but back then it was a very good selling point. Build quality wise it's surprisingly sturdy, also not being too heavy for a ball mouse. Enough chit chat, let's plug in and see if the mouse is still doable in 2022 or 2023. Just a little disclaimer, I'm not a very professional mouse reviewer, I'm just doing this because it is pretty fun. After you plug the Intel mouse in a modern machine for the first time, you will need to restart the system. Afterwards, you will be up and running. General usage seems to be okay. I definitely noticed the lower DPI of the mouse compared to my Logitech G305, which while on the desktop I'm running at 1500 DPI because that's what I'm used to. An issue that I did find with the Intel mouse is that trying to reach for small icons can be a bit of a struggle to the inaccuracy of the ball mechanic. A shame, but that's to be expected. Comfort is okay, although for long term use it's not the best. But yeah, if you are being forced into using this mouse at your workplace, you can deal with it. Not that I know a place where this mouse is still being used, and most optical mice out there will be better than this. But as our Thailand situation, I can deal with it. What about playing games? I decided to first try out the Spider-Shot Ultimate test in AimLab. I have done 5 runs of it and averaged out the scores. The first thing I noticed was the noise the mouse would make while gliding. Those rolls do be loud, yo. And as such, gliding is nowhere near as smooth feeling as an optical mouse. Otherwise, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Accuracy isn't quite as good as my G305, but that is a modern mouse that isn't like super cheap. Realistically, I am limited by my scale set. CSGO is unfortunately where the shit hits the fan for the Intel mouse. It wasn't very pleasant. I was fighting more with the mouse than with the players in game. The low accuracy of the ball based mouse can be felt more here. Though, if you do play a more casual game, this mouse might fare better. So, should you buy this mouse? It depends. For the 2 euros that I paid, I am pretty happy to have it in my collection. This mouse is pretty decent for old PCs from the 90s, as the PS2 plug makes it plug and play with operating systems from the time. And the novelty of using a period correct mouse is something. Though, any more than 5 euros, I would look for something else. And for modern day uses, there are much better options out there. This video is a placeholder for my lack of content recently, but I still hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe.